So if you are a maker, you're always looking to make some new project, something which uh, solves a problem, something which you are proud of. But uh, if you are someone like me who have more than one hobbies, uh, for example, photography in my case, then it's absolutely amazing to make a project that can combine both the hobbies and complement one another, such as this small device, which I made to do some light painting, long exposure photography, and it's very easy to make. So without wasting any time, let's just dive right into the video where I'll show you how I made this one using CircuitPython, which is a fairly simple programming language. And we'll start with the intro. So if you are following my channel for quite some time now then you know that I'm an electronics engineer who likes to make a small embedded DIY electronics projects and I've been using all kind of platforms to make this project so all kind of different boards available in the market like Arduino, Raspberry Pi and what not and sometimes back I came across a project called MicroPython which basically allows you to write firmware for your embedded device in Python programming language I already know Python programming language so I gave it a try and I find it really amazing that you can write uh, firmware for your bare metal microcontrollers uh, using Python programming language and that really caught my eyes so I started to look more and found uh, Adafruit uh, which is a company which makes some amazing uh, board for prototyping uh, for DIY makers and engineers have their own form of a micro python and they call it circuit python which is basically a target for their line of board and it's uh, quite simple to use that uh, so if you're already familiar with Arduino, Arduino is also one such framework that uh, makes uh, uh, prototyping on hardware quite easy and CircuitPython makes it uh, 10x more simpler in my opinion. So if you already know Python programming language, if you want to get into the hardware, then uh, CircuitPython is the go-to thing which I would recommend to start with because uh, that is in my opinion the simplest way. There is no compilation required, there is no ID you need to install and all the program stays on the board uh, which I'm going to show you in uh, some time. So, uh, that is why I chose CircuitPython and, and since uh, past uh, couple of years I've been uh, using CircuitPython for all my small prototyping projects I've been talking about CircuitPython in different conferences around the world and uh, yeah that is uh, why I love it so much. So I cannot talk everything about CircuitPython in one video but I'm gonna link uh, one document down in the description below if you are interested you can go check it out it has every detail about CircuitPython which you wanted to know and get started with. Uh, but today in this video I'm gonna use CircuitPython to make one of uh, small projects which you can also try. So if you don't already know that apart from making these small tiny projects I also do photography as a hobby and uh, you can check my Instagram page uh, uh, right here to where I post all my photography related work and the idea of making this project came out after I was discussing uh, with one of my friends on doing some light painting long exposure photography and uh, if you don't know about light painting photography then uh, basically you can use this flash to do some painting uh, you uh, make your camera shutter open for some time and you do some painting using some light source and uh, that's how light painting photography actually works, uh, uh, also known as long exposure photography. Uh, using circuit python I'm gonna make uh, an RGB LED lit and then use a DSLR camera to do some light painting photography. I'm gonna show how to do everything uh, from programming the board to setting up the DSLR camera but if you still want a step by step tutorial you can go and check out my blog right here and I also put the link in the description. So let me start by telling you what different things you're gonna need. So to make a circuit python powered uh, light painting long exposure photography we want. <laughs> that's an amazing name you just need two things number one is any circuit uh, python compatible board which has an rgb led on board uh, it can be a dot style led it can be a neopixel led in this case i'm gonna use a gemma m0 board and i'm gonna link everything down below in the description so you can check it out and buy it out for yourself uh, you can also use a, a circuit playground board which has uh, i guess 10 neopixel leds so if you don't know about NeoPixel or Dotster LEDs, it's basically small LED which can uh, lit it into any color using RGB color spectrum and you can program it in CircuitPython which I'm gonna show you how to do. Uh, the other thing you will need is a small battery source. It can be a power bank, it can be uh, this small battery pack uh, with a GST connector because this board also has a GST connector. So these two are the basic things which you are gonna need. You are also gonna need a USB micro cable to program this board. Again you can find link to everything in the description below. So let's move to the computer screen. I am gonna show you how to program this. Okay so we are at the computer screen and the very first thing we need to do is to connect our board on the computer using this USB cable. So every micro python compatible board comes up with an own board uh, RGB LED. Uh, an RGB LED is basically a combination of red, green and blue LED. Uh, using these three basic colors you can uh, output any color uh, from the RGB color space by just varying the brightness of red, green and blue color. So for example you wanted a white color LED then you can 
uh, turn on the RG and B component of RGB LED to full brightness and uh, this RGB LED is basically a dot star LED uh, which is another kind of RGB LED uh, if we talk about uh, circuit playground board this also have 10 RGB LEDs but these LEDs are neo pixel LEDs and these are different kind but the function is same to light up as a specific color by taking user input from the program and the programming language which you are going to use is of course circuit uh, python in this case so if you already know python then uh, you will feel very comfortable working with this one uh, also these two are different boards so this one has some less memory this is also very uh, small and have dot star led this one is comparatively big have different sensors and lot of different leds so i'm going to show you how to program both this one is also relatively cheaper so i'm going to use this one first so the very first step is to flash the circuit python if uh, your board is uh, brand new then there may be a possibility the circuit python is not already flashed so you need to flash the circuit uh, python first so for that visit uh, circuitplayground.org and in the download section just find about your board in my case i have Gemma m0 board so I'm gonna download the latest .uf2 file which is the uh, firmware flasher for this. So I'm gonna download this one and I'm also gonna download the libraries for my board. Uh, so Circuit Playground, uh, since it has very small memory this board, uh, the libraries are kept in different folders so you can keep the libraries only which you are wanted and uh, you can delete which you don't. So I'm also gonna download the libraries in this case. I'm gonna download the library bundle. We're gonna flash Circuit Playground 4 version so I'm gonna uh, pick up the bundle version for .x so I will have all the libraries for 4.x circuit playground and then we can move from there. So the very first step is to flash circuit uh, python on this board which uh, we can do is just go to your download folders and find the uf2 which you downloaded and drag it to the gamma boot uh, drive as you can see. There would be some LEDs flashing and uh, you will see a new drive circuit pi appear on your desktop and that is how you know that circuit python has been successfully flashed and that is really simple you just drag the firmware file and all is done uh, the next step is to extract the library which you want so this is a dot star led as i already mentioned so we want a dot star library to work with it so in the library download folder let's find the dot star library and uh, it's right there, adafruit.star.mpy. So I'm gonna go to circuitpy directory and if there is no lib already then you can make a new folder by name lib and uh, you can just uh, drag adafruit.star.mpy and now the library is made available for this board. The next step is to install Moo editor. I will leave all the link I'm mentioning in the description down below. So this Moo is already been installed here and uh, I'm gonna write a new program so basically I want this uh, dot star LED to blink blue so for that I need to write a program the program is fairly simple very first line is to import the board uh, what this does it made all the features available on this board for you to use the next step is I'm gonna include one more library uh, which is adafruit dot star library this library will help me to interact with this dot star LED which is uh, on board available on this uh, Gemma M0 board. So the next step is to use an LED instance and I have just uh, copy pasted uh, from my previous code. So this is line is basically initiating an LED using the library function. This SCK and MOSI you do not need to understand right now you just uh, need to know that uh, this is something which is being used to make the dot star LED work. So dot star work on uh, two pins uh, this SCK and MOSI master output slave in you do not need to really understand but that is the requirement so I'm gonna do that. Uh, the next step is I want to define the LED brightness so uh, in circuit python you can make LED go from 0 to 1, 1 means full brightness and 0 means uh, off so I'm gonna do something like 0.5 here. The next step is to blink the LED and let's do that in uh, green color first. So LED is 0 since you only have one LED we can use 0, 0,255, 0. So this is something I wanted to touch upon. So this is an RGB LED that means the first uh, number represents the brightness of R or red. Second number represents brightness of uh, green and the third represents the brightness of blue part of the LED. So 0 on red means there would be no red color. 255 on green means the green would be full lit because it's an 8 bit value 0 to 255. So that means uh, giving 255 here means the LED would be green. Uh, 0 here means the blue is also off. So next we have to do is press the save and 
this will save the program and as you can see the LED turned green uh, so that is our expected output and as you can see there is no compilation required we just have to save the program and the ID handles it's everything so this ID saves it into code.py file in the circuit pi uh, directory so let's say you want a blue color out of this LED then what you can do is have 0 on the green and 255 on the blue and press save and you can see the LED will turn blue similarly if you want to do white then you can do all LED on full brightness if you press save the LED will turn white so that's exactly how you can use uh, this LED to lit in any color by changing the value of uh, uh, R, G and B components so if I do 0 on red and full on green and full on blue then it should show some aqua or teal kind of color uh, also you can vary the led brightness so it's a uh, half uh, bright now so if you can do one over here it will increase the brightness i don't really think you can tell on the camera but it just uh, increase the brightness uh, also if you are onto the circuit uh, playground board which has 10 neo pixel then uh, you can also program it in similar manner uh, but using a different uh, program so i'm gonna use import board to get all the board feature i'm gonna use import neo pixel uh, because circuit playground have neo pixel kind of led and not dot star as compared to uh, gamma m0 then i'm gonna do led is equal to neo pixel dot neo pixel uh, then board dot neo pixel and this uh, one has 10 leds as uh, we already know from circuit playground then we're gonna do led dot brightness is equal to let's say one full brightness and while true this loop always works so led zero we want to be in red color so 255 comma zero comma zero and we're gonna save this program and as you can see the led lit uh, red if you want to do blue then you can do something like this it will turn blue and since it has uh, 10 leds we can also do two leds at a time uh, we can do led one as red And you can see now we have two LEDs working simultaneously. So that's how simple it is to program these LEDs and boards using circuit Python. Now let's move back. So I have programmed the board uh, to show red color on the LED and I have used a small uh, double sided tape to stick this board onto the battery pack. Uh, now let's turn the board uh, on and you can see the uh, red LED uh, right there and we're gonna use it to do some light painting. There is also one more interesting thing I find out that if you're using a circuit playground board with the official case on, it has a quarter inch thread so uh, you can use uh, any small tripod like this one and screw it on the back and once you screw that tripod on it then you can literally use it as a painting wand in the air so the next step is to set up your dslr and do some light painting for that uh, you will need a dslr and a tripod you can also do some long exposures on your phone but you need to install a third party application i'm gonna leave links to some of my favorite uh, applications which allows you to do uh, slow shutter or long exposure photography down in the description so do check them out and now let's go and let me teach you how to set up your dslr so on any DSLR, there are three types of setting, ISO, uh, the shutter speed and the aperture. You need to keep your ISO as minimum as possible and then you can open the aperture to the least number. So the more the number, the least the aperture would open. So in my case, I'm going to 22 and then you want to increase the shutter speed to a slow shutter speed like uh, four seconds so the shutter would remain open for four seconds the light would come in and you can do some uh, light painting also try to find a dark background that will give you better results and also put the camera on a tripod so even if you don't have a dslr you can still do light painting photography using a mobile application which allows you to change shutter speed and open the shutter for a long time uh, such as i'm using a slow shutter app on my iphone so as you can see over here there are different settings which allows me to open the shutter light sensitivity and all and i'm gonna use this to do some light painting so i'm gonna press the shutter and as you can see there are different light 
paints I can make on the screen. This uh, works best on uh, dark background. So I'm gonna close the lights. I'm gonna show you again. So just press the shutter and do whatever kind of light you want to do. So that's how you do it using a mobile phone. So that was really fun doing some light painting photography using Circuit Playground and that is uh, the real fun of combining different hobbies and as I always say if you have multiple hobbies uh, try to find a project that brings uh, all of them together and you're gonna have a lot of fun making this uh, work uh, like we just did. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video, hope you learned something new, hope you're gonna make uh, this one for yourself and uh, gonna explore the world of Circuit Python. And by the way, the official Circuit Python day is uh, very near on uh, 8 August uh, 2019. We are gonna celebrate uh, first Circuit Python day around the world. Uh, so do check out Adafruit for more updates. I'm also gonna post all the photos I took using this on my Instagram, so do follow me on Instagram. Uh, on this note, I hope you enjoyed the video, hope you learned something new. Uh, do tell me about uh, your hobbies which you pursue in the comment section down below. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, uh, share it with your friends and uh, as always I'm gonna see you in the next one.